With the first day of spring happening this past week, we are all looking forward to the nice spring weather ahead. And a lot of the times when spring comes around, our first thought is spring cleaning, which we absolutely support. Everyone's home deserves a good scrub. But along with your spring cleaning, you should be thinking about your home maintenance tasks. Every year around this time of year, we walk our personal assistant clients here at MOD through our spring home maintenance checklist. This way they know their home is taken care of and in great shape as we're going into a new season. So today we are going to share that checklist with you so you can do the same at your home. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline Poole with Mod Assistants. At Mod Assistants, we have a team of personal assistants that help our clients out with their everyday household tasks, as well as a team of virtual assistants that help small business owners with administrative projects. And on this channel, we take the years of experience from both sides to help you within your home and at your business. Before we get started walking through the checklist, you want to bring your attention down to the description box below. And we'll also pin a comment as well if that's easier for you to find. We're going to include a link for you to download our spring maintenance checklist. This is the exact checklist that we use for our personal assistant clients. It is completely free, easy to download and print so you can pop on your refrigerator and check things off as you go throughout the new season. Now, as you can see on this list, we have 24 different things that you want to look out for when you are going through your home maintenance for spring. We're not going to go through all 24 items in this video today because that would be just too long of a video. So be sure to download your checklist and today we're going to go through some of the top items that we see our clients wanting their assistants to handle for them every single year. Let's start at the bottom of our checklist with the outdoor tasks. Now, as you're going through this checklist, specifically for the outdoor tasks, keep in mind the idea of outsourcing. We are big advocates of outsourcing tasks that you do not feel comfortable doing or do not have the time to accomplish. For this outdoor portion of the checklist, there might be some items on here that you just don't feel comfortable doing yourself and you might wanna bring in a professional for. When we're talking about cleaning out gutters, the fireplace or roof repairs, these are things that you might not be able to do yourself. So while we are all about DIY, we do suggest bringing in a professional for tasks that you do not feel you can handle yourself. First things first is to clean out your gutters. You do not wanna wait until we are fully into the rainy season to worry about your gutters being clean. If there is too much debris in your gutters, you do risk the chance of those gutters becoming too heavy and detaching from your home, which of course leads to a much larger and more expensive project. So while you have some time, when the weather starts to warm up, get up there on your roof or hire someone to do it for you and get those gutters cleaned out. Along those same lines is to have your fireplace professionally cleaned. This way, you know you are not living with any extra soot or debris in your home, especially if you are a household who uses your fireplace a lot during the winter season. It's better to tackle that clean out now as we're heading into the off season for the fireplace, as opposed to waiting until winter comes again and then perhaps you're not able to get on the schedule and you end up using your fireplace in a not so great condition. So get it done now. Take some time to give your outdoor space and landscaping a spruce. Trim down the bushes, remove any dead plants or any extra leaves that were left over from last season. Take some time now to plant any grass seed that is needed in some bare points throughout your lawn. This way the seed is planted before that rainy season starts so you get the best bang for your buck. We also see around this time of year, late March, to be the best time to go purchase mulch for your outdoor landscaping if this is something that you like to do. That mulch seems to go on sale at big retailers at the very beginning of the season, honestly before you're even going to use it, and you can find some really great discounts now. So head to the store, pick it up now if you have an area in your garage or your backyard where you can store it until you're actually using it. 
it will be worth that money savings. If you choose to go with a landscaping company, be sure to call them now and get on the list again before the rainy season starts. A lot of the really great landscaping companies around you will likely fill up their schedule sooner than you think. So call now, get on the schedule for a few weeks out so you know all of your landscaping will be done in time. Be sure to schedule your annual or semi-annual AC and HVAC unit checkup. Just like we talked about with the landscapers, you want to be sure to get on the schedule now before an issue occurs. There have been so many times where we have seen clients wait too long to get their AC units checked and all of a sudden we're into the really hot weather of June and July and it is really difficult to get on the schedule because those HVAC companies are so overwhelmed with issues. So get on the schedule now, get it checked out, and just make sure you are good to go before that AC is actually needed. And while you're at it, you can have your AC company or you yourself change out the filters for your HVAC units inside your home. If you choose to do this on your own, it is really easy to do. You can open up your unit, see what type of filter, what type and size you need, and order it online. Ships directly to your home. It is very easy to do. A task that combines both outdoor and indoor is to tend to your windows. On the outdoor side, just take a few minutes to clean out those window sills, knock down any cobwebs or any extra leaves or buildup that has gathered in those window sills over the last season. You also are going to want to check out your screens for any holes or imperfections. You could do this on the inside or outside of your home. If we are thinking towards springtime, we're gonna to wanna to open up those windows and let the fresh air run through. But of course, we don't want any bugs getting through the screens if there are holes. So take a few minutes to walk around your home, both on the outside and inside, and make sure those screens are looking perfect. Now we are heading inside and let's start in the bedrooms. There are a couple tasks that we like to handle for our clients in terms of getting your bedrooms ready for the spring season. First and foremost, you wanna swap out any of your heavy linens. If you are in an area where you bring out a lot of extra blankets or heavier linens for the winter time, due to really cold temperatures, take some time to switch out those linens for some lighter, airier pieces. And if you have a lot of extra blankets built up on your bed right now, fold them up and put them in storage because you won't be needing them through the spring and summer season. And while you're at it, take a moment to flip your mattress. This is something you do not need to do often, but it is a really nice thing to do once or twice a year just to keep the health of your mattress in better shape. And if you want to take it even a step further and you want to do a little bit of extra cleaning, think about using your handheld steamer to steam your mattress. Think about it. We take a lot of time to clean and sanitize and wash all of our linens, but that mattress never gets fully cleaned. And we found that using just a handheld steamer can do a really great job. Of course, this is going to take a little bit of time, but if you're dedicated to having a super clean home for spring, you're gonna really like this one. A task that we are doing all year round for our clients, but especially in the springtime, is to declutter, donate, and organize items around the home. Of course, we do this a lot within our closets. This is a great time to go through your closet Get rid of any items that are ready to be trashed or donated because you are no longer wearing them. And this also gives you the opportunity to switch out season appropriate clothing if that is something that you do. Put away those heavy sweaters and sweatshirts and bring in some of those lighter dresses and blouses for the spring season. But this doesn't only mean in your closet. Take some time to declutter items all around your home. The kids' toy closets, extra linens for the kitchen or the bedrooms, extra towels, anything around your home that you are finding to pile up and you have too much of it, springtime is a great time to go through, declutter, and purge. A vendor for inside your home that we love to bring in in the spring season is someone to deep clean your carpets. 
Just like we mentioned with your mattress, that is an area of your home that is highly used and not always cleaned and sanitized. There are many options out there if you would like to deep clean your carpets yourself. We will leave some of our favorite options in the description box below if you are committed to purchasing your own carpet cleaner. If this is something you would like to hand off to a professional, once again, get on their schedule now to get all of the rugs and carpets in your home professionally cleaned and sanitized as we head into spring. Another quick task that is often forgotten about, but obviously very important for a safe home is to test your smoke detectors. This is something that we don't think about until it's absolutely needed. And in this case, when it's needed, it might be too late. So take some time in the spring and in the fall to go around your entire home and test all of your smoke detectors. And if you have them, carbon monoxide detectors. The process for testing these is going to depend on the brand and style of detectors you have for your home. So simply do a little bit of Googling based on the brand and the type, and it will tell you exactly how to accurately test those detectors. It will only take you a few minutes to do and will absolutely give you some peace of mind. And that is everything for our spring home maintenance checklist. We do hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out the description box for the free downloadable version of our spring home maintenance checklist. We hope this helps you in your home as much as it helps our clients here at Mod. And before you leave, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any videos from us in the future. We post every single weekend with videos designed to help you within your home or at your small business. And we will see you in the next video.